time. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, just to kind of recap on what uh, I ended up doing today. I, I took my pup out, Pepper. Uh, we went out for a nice day at the park. Um, kind of get her legs stretched out. But also stop at Best Buy. Um, I needed to purchase a wide lens. As you can see, it's only capturing so much. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm imagining that you know the customer is gonna be here, and the table length is probably gonna be shorter than that. I'm probably gonna be closer to the camera, um, but I'm assuming that at the furthest distance, customer here, me here, I want to be able to capture the both of us, and then also the product. So. Um, Unfortunately, with the lens that I currently have here, which is the 16 millimeter to 50, um, it, it, it's, it's not gonna work. Um, so I ended up purchasing a 16 millimeter wide, which I've been told is probably gonna be the best. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have it at Best Buy, so I had to order it and it's gonna be delivered to my house a day prior to the show. Doesn't give me much time to test it out. Um, but it, but that's okay. That's, uh, you know, I'm the one that's dropping the ball on it by ordering this stuff last minute, but that's just who I am. That's, that's what I tend to do. Um, and so, uh, currently making myself some dinner, um, but I, the camera that I used prior to purchasing this brand new one, um, of which I'm currently using. Um, I have the, the Alpha uh, EV10 Sony brand. Um, the one that I was using for the last two shows. Um, I'm pretty sure those videos will be uploaded by the time this comes out. Um, I just didn't like the camera quality. It said 4K, but I, I don't know if it's just the lighting that was inside of that room that just didn't give it the quality that I wanted. Um, a few of you have commented on that. You guys should know that I listen, I read comments, most of the comments, or actually a lot of the comments. Now let's just go ahead and say all of them. Um, and um, you know, I try to make the videos as um, fun and entertaining as I possibly can. So I tend to listen to you guys quite often in what I can fix to make that enjoyable. Um, so one, thank you very much for leaving comments and your opinions on how I can, uh, or I guess I should say constructive criticism um, to be able to give you guys more uh, quality videos. Two, it's like what's in front of the camera. I want you guys to be able to enjoy um, or at least capture and or see in high definition uh, what it is that I'm selling and or picking up at these shows. So that being said, um, I do want to say that the Insta, though it was a great camera, the Insta360 X4, it just didn't give me the quality of video that I wanted. Um, so I just ended up returning it to Best Buy. Luckily, there wasn't a uh, restocking fee on that one. There is, however, a restocking fee on this camera. So that being said, um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be returning this camera. I really enjoy it. It's um, the autofocus and the adjusting to the lights. I love. I don't know if you were able to capture that, but it, I was dark at first and then it focused on me and, and you know, adjusted to the lighting. Um, I do have the backyard here. It's pretty light out. Um, so that was pretty, uh, pretty awesome. The point of this video, I guess, is just to kind of update you guys on what camera I'm using for my next show. And then also I stopped at Best Buy, you know, like I mentioned before, and I kind of, you know, want to open a box um, just just so that this, I don't know, video isn't too boring. Um, but I will do that in just a bit. My burgers are almost uh, done on one side, so I'm going to have to flip them. I did forget my spatula, but I think I have a few seconds. Um, so 
I, uh, I will be opening up that box, and uh, I'm going to try to do it while these burgers are still cooking. Um, but, but yeah, that's pretty much the point of this video. Um, just kind of letting you guys know that I'm, again, swapping cameras from the Insta360 X4 to the Sony Alpha uh, EV10, I believe. Yes. Check them on the burgers and uh, turned off the grill. I'm gonna let them sit in there and let the cheese melt. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this um, Twilight Masquerade box. I don't think I have this um, Ergerpon promo card, but nonetheless, got a little thumbnail going on there. Um, I'm surprised that no one's ever commented on like my thumbnails. Uh, they're typically self-generated. They're not, I don't spend time doing much um, to create a thumbnail. But um, that being said, I'm hoping that people don't <laughs> ask me to do more. But I'm going to go ahead and open this here. Oh, kind of looks like maybe someone tried to open this earlier. So um, now I'm pretty sure that you've guys seen plenty of openings when it comes to the uh, ETBs. Uh, but just for those who don't know, um, this comes with nine packs of the Twilight Masquerade. Comes with, uh, uh, you know, sleeves, comes with dice, damage counters, and etc. A bunch of energy cards, <clears throat> stuff that we um, are not going to be worried about. But there's your promo card. Nice. It focuses on the card. That is going to be great for the show. Um, so I'm really going to enjoy that. Um, and then just everything else that comes in it. Set that aside. We're going to be opening up nine packs. Uh, this show is going to be in Stockton. It's coming up show. It is in Stockton. And um, going to be basically... We're gonna do one show before SAC Anime. Um, just, you know, trying to get some more inventory. Right. And we have a EX, I believe, a Blissey EX, all right. Um, kinda wanna get some more inventory. SAC Anime is a three-day show. The show in Stockton is about, uh, it's, a, it's a one day, um, and it's not too far from where I stay. Um, so I'm hoping that we can pick up some pretty interesting items if you're in the Sacramento area. Um, oh, right. We have a, uh, a promo pass. Nice. All right. We have one hit. That's cool. Um, you know, I suggest that you come by. Uh, Sac Anime is one of uh, my favorite shows. And um, I have currently been provided to uh, to join the HypeCon coming out in September, late September. Um, so signing up for that as well, that is a just a single day. Um, all right, just a regular hollow for that. Uh, but yeah, this King of Cards show coming up in just a few days. Um, it will be my second show with them. Uh, the first one was here in my hometown at the Tracy Mall, the West Valley Mall that is. And, um, you know, it was pretty interesting. I really liked it. Um, pretty cool to see the, you know, community close to home. All right. We have a Screamtail EX. I, I'm, I, I'm really enjoying this camera. Um, but yes, let's hope that there is, um, there, that there's, uh, some pretty interesting trades coming in, uh, this Saturday at my next show. Is that this hollow? But if not, no worries. I'm sure I'll pick something up. Um, and I also want to start doing, uh, before my shows, you know, since 
since we're setting up, we're, um, whoops, kind of a little too far ahead there. While we're setting up, or actually finished setting up, we have maybe about a half hour to an hour to uh, walk around the, um, just a regular hollow, walk around the, the convention. And so I, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna, if I can get some footage, uh, I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself a $500 budget and try to purchase as many items um, within, that, within that time frame before the show starts and, and see you know if I can possibly, I don't know, get some interesting items to sell uh, during that show. And then I'll probably give myself a $1,000 budget um, come Sack Anime. And that one's going to be interesting because I'm actually in the main exhibitor hall this year. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Last year I was in Player's Paradise. And uh, that one, it was long hours. Both, but actually the three of us, both my nephews were with, with, me, with me that time and um, it was pretty exhausting, you know. So I'm hoping that this time around being in the main exhibitor hall, it's, uh, oh, all right. We have a Frostless as our hit. Sweet. Quite a few hits here. No, no Greninja though. It'd be cool if I can get a Greninja, especially here in the kitchen. Um, but yes, my next show will be about a $500 budget and then SAC anime, it will be $1,000. So stay tuned for that. And I'm hoping that those little shorts, little short videos are enjoyable. And just a, oh, we have a, uh, sorry. Uh, Mag Cargo EX as our last hit. Um, so I'm going to test it out just to kind of put more, um, you know, more more videos out um, instead of just the one every other week or so. Um, you know, it, it, it's hard because I'm the one editing my videos and working a full time job. It can be very difficult to, you know, find more time away from my wife. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, adios.